Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, Jessica, how do I turn on 99.9% of any woman out there? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked, because this is coming off the heels of some dude I know who just DM'd me and got my pussy to go, hey! So to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to have this exact same effect on women or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. Okay, so before I get into that story, I have another story. I just got off the phone with a girlfriend of mine. We were talking about this one time. We were up in the club, and a celebrity tried to get me to come home with him. Everybody knows him. He's very much my type. So sure enough, I'm walking to the bathroom and said celebrity comes and intercepts me and says to me, hey, when you're done dancing with all those losers, why don't you come out to my table? And I was like, no thanks. And he was like, so how much is it gonna cost then? Then I just proceeded to laugh in his face and go back to the bathroom so I could take a piss. And that was the very last I ever saw of him, at least face to face. So for all you naysayers out there that are like, women only want money and muscle. I'll tell you right now, you sound very very keen on what men want. We women are not turned on as visually by things as you guys are. We can't just see money and muscles and be like, oh my God, I'm so wet. The same way you guys can look at a naked ass chick and be like, oh, I'm hard, fuck. Our brains operate differently. It is a different part of our brain that get our bodies going in the way that your bodies can automatically get going. For fuck's sake, y'all guys are always hard. It might be, you know, the certain wind direction or you'll wake up with it. Y'all are so lucky. For us, it's different. Oh yeah, so back to this dude who DM'd me. So basically, this dude and I, we talked in the past. We've been on a few dates. I really didn't like him. He's super negative, super arrogant, very rude to the wait staff. I don't know. I just, I wasn't like attracted to him at all because of his personality. However, because he has this arrogant frat boy-esque to him, him and I could shoot the shit like we were friends. Because all my guy friends are like that. Because my father was like that. I was basically raised by a 20-year-old frat guy. Either way, this man has never been shy about letting me know just how much he wants to fuck me. Again, I don't like him. I don't like him at all. I think he's a bad person. But we could share some laughs. We've got the same perverted sense of humor. So he DMs me and simply says, I jerked off to a picture of you last night. And mind you, rational Jessica is like, ew. But for some reason, my pussy was at full attention. I literally looked down and was like, what? And the reason that is so is because we women are turned on when we feel feel desired by you. But if and only if we first feel a connection to you. But I'm telling you, it doesn't even have to be a good connection. This is why women can get wet and go to bed with dudes they really hate. A connection is a connection. As long as you know how to create those knee-jerk reactions in us, whether they're good or bad, our bodies will also instinctively and automatically react to your desire. I always say, however you feel, we feel too. And when you do create that connection and you make your desire for us overt, our bodies will follow your lead. This is what I like to call the override effect where you can literally hijack her rational brain to turn her body onto you in ways that she can't even keep up with. I'm telling you, I really looked at my vagina and said, really? I go over the entire mechanism behind it in this link up here, which details the override effect, how you could do it too, and how you can have this effect on women 99.9% .9 of the time. I can't tell you how desperate we women are for you to move things forward when we do feel connected with you, when we do feel good about you. So imagine if you could make a woman feel connected and you could make her laugh and you could make her like you because you're actually a good fucking person and you also get her wet with the snap of your fingers. So many men come to me talking about, oh no, I get in the friend zone all the time. But I'm telling you, if you can become her friend and you can create that connection, it's just this one more thing you need to do to get her wanting you. My former assistant Clayton explains it way better than I ever can. And in that video, I think the link, I think I put it up, but I will put it on the end screen. It describes the override effect. Check it out now. Make sure you start being clear that you do want her because every woman wants that too. And I will see you guys in the next video.